We are using the Sony Handycam yet again to show you the progress on the new Mart slash MBTA commuter station. And what we have here is a parking lot because I'm not aiming too well. And right over here, we have eight new tubular segments for the new sewage line going through. And now that the rain has finally stopped bothering us for months on end, since mid-June, they finally gone to town on the excavation. Take a look. That's right, you can see the real hill. The fake one, for the most part, has been removed. Now, of course, still they got to take care of the old lines that are still present. And as we walk this way down the tracks, it'll become a lot more evident. As we can see here, we got a water truck. And I'll stop right here. This is close enough. As you can see, the grade, the amount of grade they're removing isn't terribly much. And they have reached the peak end of this fake hill. As you can see, the grade is entirely fake. As you can now see the entire street. Still, they got some parts that are, you know, uh, they got the steel in for their new lines or to remove the old one, whichever that is. My hand keeps getting in the way. Some old cast iron grates there, grade there, close up of that truck. And right over here, if we just get a, just a little bit closer, Right next to the, right next to the dumpster, these are the old walls that held up the fake, you know, the fakey uh, grade. That's the word I was looking for. In fact, right over here, we get a good look at the, you know, the faux square rock treatment. They just pelted the thing and folded it right over. And right there you can see, folded over like a pancake. Right there is a machine with a pile driver, we'll see it later, which pummels the crap out of these things. And to think, they were right about, right where I'm pointing just a few days ago. And now, they're up to here. They still got this grade and all of this to remove. I'm not 100% sure if this little uh, graded segment is coming down as well. It seems logical because two-way parking pattern isn't really possible. There is a possibility of a two-way but parking on one side. And there are the original four uh, cylinders I showed you in the previous video. Next, we'll show you what it looks like from the other side, the main street. There's the pile driver unit right there. And as you can see, they're getting ready to remove the rest of this fake hill. And that's where the fake hill ends now. And this is where the real grade starts. The parking garage that they're building is going to follow the natural grade of this hill. And I'll stop right here. As you can see, they're down as low as they're going to get and where they're gonna run sewer lines, it's still dug down even lower. So what holds next? Any of these walls and that, and that uh, embankment gonna go away as well? 
Let's find out. Oh, look what uh, they discovered while digging out. Foundation to the building that used to be here before there was a station. When they made this initial station, there was a mill building right there. Young enough of a building to have a concrete poured foundation. And they just left that section in because it went past the height of the fake hill. Alrighty, now let's see what happens further in the future. July 6th, 2012. These are the original pieces that they're going to put into the ground. And as we can see, they have completely removed the fake hill on this half. This half, it's still there. They moved the dumpster up there. They moved the four pieces that were where that bulldozer was right there. And we got a bunch of new sections right here held in place by some of the old retaining wall for that fake hill. If they didn't have those in place, we'd have a king-sized uh, Donkey Kong incident here. We still got some areas dug out where these new sections of pipe are gonna go. And this angled part, I forgot, is not gonna be in the way. The entrance to the garage isn't over there. It's over there, completely out of the way of that little jog. So that's what we got for today, at least. July 13th, 2012. There doesn't appear to be much more in the way of progress. We still have the tubes there. I mean, we can figure things. We got a new section here, and it's top over here. And there was a truck here that had more plumbing, but it's gone. So I don't know what the holdup is. And right there, we can still see the original, uh, what's still left of unexcavated dirt. I'm not 100% sure if that's gonna go away at some point. I think it will. It's just that it's holding up. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's holding this up right here. I don't wanna get rid of that in case there's storm runoff over time. So there's nothing happening as of right now. This is the July 18th, 2012 update. You still got those tubes there, but not many of them. Most of them are now underground. As you can see, we've got the uh, sewage system already in progress. It goes from there to that one. And if we go further up the line, there's one going right there. And I'm not sure if there's a fourth. I don't see one. And what you can't really see too well, right there, actually, we might, if I, let me put this back down, balance this on a railing. Yeah, it's gonna be a little crooked. Bricks. I don't know what the bricks are for. So that's the update, July 18th, 2012. We got some, we got a tube right there. We still got that hole over there. Not sure what's going on. And yes, this hill is still there for stability's sake because where they've dug, there's a retaining wall. So, yeah, that's the update. July 23rd, 2012, not much in the way of progress. They dug out the new system to here. Now I'm not giving you every little itty bitty update, but I did find something somewhat unique now that they've dug things up a little bit. They're running into the old fashioned culverts, like that one right there. The old original drainage system used when factories once were on this hill. There's one right there. And there's some you can't see from this angle. And if we go over here, you'll be able to see that they have formed a sort of a concrete box around another part of the culvert system. In fact, it's the culvert system they broke up that I just showed you right there.
and the concrete is obviously setting at this point. So now we got all these other tubes here. Well, actually, it's just one more tube, an extender, a collar, another extension piece, and yet another. So I don't know where that's going. Like I said, I'm not here to bore you with every little bit, but since I'm here doing other videos, I might as well show you anything somewhat significant. And they gotta go all the way up to the end, I believe. And here's where that culvert ultimately winds up. Right there, that's the only other one I can see from this point. Well, here's another update. And as I tell you, there's so many because I come to the station to do rail fanning, or as people in my generation call it, train spotting. Anyway, we got some new tubes over here, and a couple over there. Not sure where they're going, but as we can see, all the old ones, or should I say, the new ones to, to the old aqueduct system are now in place. That one is where it is. And there's one buried under that dirt bridge. It's buried to protect it from the heavy machinery, obviously. And over here, we got a pit. Now, if the garage is starting right about here this is where the elevator is going and uh, that is a pre-existing that's a pre-existing uh, conduit there although I didn't pay attention to see if it was newly installed or it was always there and they just got to digging around it. If so, is this going to be an in ground hydraulic? That would make absolutely no sense. I don't, I don't know if that's what this is. And you can see they capped it off and they're kind of protecting it. It was open before, and like I said, that's approximately where the elevator's going. So I don't know what that is. Whether that's a completely pre existing thing altogether or not. So they got all this buried. And this whole hill is still there. I'm beginning to wonder if this part of the parking garage is actually going to be around that level. It's going to be two stories in one section and three in most. So, let me, so that's my opinion that it might be two and three because look at the height of that. It almost matches that hill. So I'm not sure what the, what's going on here. I think now they're getting ready to do some of the uh, replacement of the sewer lines and that over there, which is probably what all those tubes are for. Yeah bunch of rock there that they dug up. They actually dug up and I'll, as you can see, they actually took out the sidewalk altogether. I mean, they pretty much destroyed it to begin with. Now the sidewalk is completely gone. They pushed the fence into the street. So I guess this might be all that we're going to see for a while. And that'll be it for this particular update. This is George F551 saying, I hope you enjoyed.